Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Minding of the Net. Yeah, that's what we're doing here again. And right now, we're 9-6-1. and one, Not us. We are not playing a whole lot of games. And the ones we are in, we're not winning. But uh, the team is 9-6-1, 13th in the league. Not too shabby. Uh, last episode, we had one good game and one not-so-good game. I mean, technically, neither of them were good, but I played better in one than the other. That's for sure. Uh, but the simulation, still not super friendly. To yours truly. Once again, I'll just kind of go through the lines. I'll leave a stats update as well, real quick. So this is what our offense looks like. Yeah, pretty solid. On defense, we've got a um, pretty decent top four. And then Clefbaum and CC is not bad there at the bottom pair as well. And in net, we got TJ and Mike Smith. So Mike Smith has been winning us some games so far. I can't relate. Um, 15 points already from McDavid, but um, not point a game. A little disappointed, not going to lie. Then we got Evander Kane with 12, Dreisaitl with 11, and he's a dash 4. Hyman with 11. Okay, Ryan with 10, boy. Good for him. Okay, let's see how Mike Smith is doing. Yeah, he's doing well. 914, 241, and he has a record of 9-4-1. He is definitely... The better goaltender, but he's also 12 overall better and has two abilities, so I kind of hope he would be. We also have the totally realistic objective of rain. Ah, can't sp can't speak at all. Apparently, that's amazing. Every time it's it seems like goalie be a pro is like the only time. Regardless, we have the totally realistic objective of maintaining a 9.30 save percentage over the next five games. Not gonna happen, and we have to. Let in two or less goals here against Chicago. Probably not going to happen either. First period. Okay, that's a good start, though. If we are going to do it, that's a good start. Second period. Okay. Yup, this is doable. I just need to not let in two goals. And I believe in the boys. They can get a goal here, for sure. We can make a third period comeback. It's only a one goal difference. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Allow a max of two goals against next game. So, yeah. Uh, they better not count empty netters, by the way. If they do, I'm going to be fuming. It's also very bold of me to assume we're taking a penalty that uh, I'm not going to let in more than one before we get to that point. <laughs> because I most likely will. Unless I have a good performance, which I guess consistency is something I need to improve on. Jones passes it over and down low to Taves. That will be saved. Risky pass there, but it seemed like he was by himself. And I want that puck down the ice so we can kill off this penalty. Nice. Colton. Oh, no. He ends up getting knocked right off it, though. Here comes Jones. Goes across to Kane, who rips one. That will be stopped. And I am not passing that out. Keeping that for the face off. Especially with Patrick Kane right in my face. Mm -mm. Not today. Okay, let's get a big draw win here. The Nuge. Can he do it? And he does not. Jones with it. Rips one off the post. Okay, we got lucky there. Still a minute to go. That's only half of it. Oh boy. I don't like... <laughs> don't like the way this is looking so far. Taves goes cross ice. And now Kane in. In the middle. The defense doing a great job of blocking it though. Taves not really getting a great chance there. Now Doc at the point with it. Another chance at the point. That is scary. It's terrifying, actually. Nope. Smothering that. I feel like the point shots we've seen so far have been literal laser beams. What's going on? Can we chill on those a little bit, please? I'm gonna put a hole in my hand. All right, Kubalik. He's in. Goes for a pass in the middle. Doesn't work. And then CC will be there for the rebound. Thank you. Thank you, Cody. For taking the initiative... To be in front for that. Dreisaitl rips one. And Flower will stop that with his blocker. I'm pretty sure it's Flurry in the net. Alright, come on. We can do this. McDavid has it on the boards. And he is going to get rocked. Are you t telling me no one's going to fight him? At least Dreisaitl went in and tried to make a hit on the mans that took down McDavid. So that's a good move right there. Johnson with it. That's a glove save. Alright. Good stuff. Good stuff. Kane goes to rip one, but it won't get through. Let's see. I'm playing all right so far. You know, I'm trying my best to not do the extreme slides, and I think, you know, it's going well. It's going well against Chicago so far here. I have to look over my microphone. It's only been five minutes, so 
I, I kind of hoped it was going to be more than that, especially because of my objectives and all. But, you know, it's not. So let's just keep it going at the pace we're going and hope for the best. Dreisaitl wins it. And that will be passed to Bouchard. And now Nuge on the wing. Cross ice to Leon again. Nice pass. What a play. If Nuge would have ripped that one, I think we had a better chance. But he decided to be Santa Claus and try to give the puck. Didn't work out. But I appreciate what you're going for there, Nuge. Let's go, Zach. He's over the blue line. Yup. He's going to just give it right up. To be fair, it was a good defensive play. I'll give Chicago that. And Doc will get drilled against the boards. Let's go. Hyman. Come on. He's in over the line. Slowly but surely. Passes it to Nuge. Who goes to McDavid. Back to Keith. But McDavid's there for it. Yup. I like it. Great passing. This is amazing. And now they're triple teaming. Nice pass again. And we are just not able to get the shot off there. Very unfortunate. Great pressure from the team though. I'm not going for that. I'll let the D get it. Johnny boy. Oh, that was an X-Factor shot too. That is scary. Back to the point. Mmm, that made it through. Luckily, it missed the net. I don't know if I would have had that with my glove or not. It's kind of hard to say. But either way, it got through all the way. Now the Chicago team is putting up a lot of pressure. Able to save that one with the blocker. Even though it was through a crowd. Good job. Nice breakout. That is textbook right there. You can't teach that. Actually, you absolutely can teach that. And it results in a goal. Tie game, baby. That's huge. Hagel. That is a, I would say, Hammerhead's legend. But it's more of our AHL team. I don't even know our AHL team's name. But he's more of a legend to them. But you know what? I'll still call him a Hammerhead's legend. Just for the sake of playing with our young guys. And helping them get better. Chicago coming back this way. Murphy goes to Connolly. Now a tie game. They have it on the wing. Goes for a pass in the middle. Won't get through. They do ultimately get it through though. And that will be saved. Now Murphy. Oh, that was a scary shot actually. Yeah, I'll smother that one. Fine, if I have to. Nice save by Timothy Jimothy. Pass that over to Nurse. And we have ourselves a breakout. Yamamoto is in on the wing. There goes behind the net to Ryan. Who once again is... Playing pretty solid this year, especially considering he's 79 overall. Nuge, great passing. Oh, what a great passing play by the Oilers. And Flower, going to come up strong there for Chicago and keep this game tied. The time is running out slowly but surely. We're definitely getting down there now. And yeah, it's a 1-1 hockey game. So, this is anybody's right now. Good draw win. Dreisaitl with it goes to rip one. But he is getting double teamed. Now Hyman is going to get rocked against the boards and lose it, unfortunately. Back the other way it comes. Johnson in. And he's going to instantly lose it. All you'll, like, thank you. You know, he pretty much just gave it to our team. And I appreciate you. Actually, I'm pretty sure that as of when I'm recording this, Johnson has played like three games for Chicago or something. And has like a lot of points. He's been absolutely lighting it up with them. Or at least that's what my friend said. So I'm kind of just taking his word for it. McCabe on the blocker. Now Kubalik gets it back to Kane. Yeah, we are facing a lot of pressure right now. If we could get it out, that would be fantastic. But we can't. Kubalik with it. To Kane again. Now McCabe in the slot to Johnson. Who? Ah, where is it? Nice. Okay, thank you, Edmonton defense. That was huge. Clogging up the middle there. Not letting them get anything too intense in on the net. We've got a buck ten left in this third period now. Time is almost out. Still a tie game. Will we see our first overtime in an Oilers jersey? And our first ever overtime for TJ as well. It's very possible. McDavid stops up and he's gonna lose it. Taves with it now in over the line. But we just barely managed to get it out thankfully. Let's go Jesse. He's carrying it in. He's on the backhand. Nice pass. Oh, good try. Okay, let's go. Chicago here. Let's play some good defense. That is good defense. What a hit. And he's injured too. He actually hurt him. Holy crap. The teammate trying to take some revenge there. Stepping up. And McCabe is now in. And Barry will just 
steal it off him like stealing candy from a baby it looked like holy crap that was smooth we have a delayed penalty which is absolutely unfortunate oh my word if they would have scored right there that would have been heartbreaking but they didn't and it's looking like we're gonna see our first overtime unless this mad lad actually gets a shot off the draw i guess they still have time to win it to the d and get a shot as well all right that works did that come before the buzzer do i get a save there patrick kane is in right at the beginning of this overtime and the shot will be blocked darnell nurse gonna put that down the ice so we're already off to a disadvantage here it is a four on three for chicago to start this thing off not how you want to start your first ever overtime but at the end of the day even if they score here i think i've played very good okay so yeah i've definitely done my part and it's just flower has been outstanding on the other end as well and he's kind of keeping us from really running away with this thing but yeah i'd, I'd say right now it's pretty much a goaltender duel if it goes to a shootout though i'm straight screwed there's no way i'm gonna save anything jones in the mitten that was a risky pass but i decided to go for it anyway that could have backfired so bad but we did get the puck down the ice and that will almost do it for the penalty kill we should have our player coming in right here this will be their very last attempt and now we are even at four on four Connolly to kane who's gonna get rocked and then oh don't like it do be like that sometimes it really do they had 35 shots though what a game what a game i'm not even sad that we lost that one that is maintaining a 930 save percentage if i've ever seen it oh wait no wait no it's 2-1 yes i met the one objective for some reason i thought it went up to 3-2 but it did not phone calls tonight and a lot of conversations here on social media yeah. as well really giving kudos to the rookie and thank this you goes back to that conversation not too long ago right oh yeah all of us how do we not make it for overall what's the team the play staff come on the kid aside and they said look we need more from you we need you to give trim me down on these goals against and look over the last five games has cut that goals against average hmm. under three and really responding in a positive I'll do glove low. let's get back to the phones let's go to line five yeah that was a solid performance and Certainly i assume the result that they were looking for at all okay jammed up phone board <laughs> well, here let's when? get to it we've got brendan when? on the line how are you he's hey, got to be happy right yeah rookie. promise Gold success tender, thanks chief i'm a little disappointed that we couldn't like get the job done but at the same time like he got us to overtime didn't he you know what? Thank, yeah the that's exactly day, what i yes, did two points is better than one but the kid still showed well i like what i'm seeing so far yes it's early but i would oh, say it's early. anybody that's critical at this Come point on. yes big win mature a little bit give him some time 11 6 and 2 very much for the call all dang right, let's go over to line five here. rough go all right 10 7 and 2 that's still not bad the golden knights are absolutely killing it right now 10 7 and 3 okay are we gonna be in against the pens we are not let's sim it let's see how it goes that is another overtime loss 10 7 and 4 now we got the crack in here they aren't doing so hot and we take home a w now we got the la kings who are also not doing great we're not in for this one sim it and we have ourselves 12 7 and 4 yes great keep on winning these games minnesota not doing so good either another victory ferda what do you want from me coach i'm guessing i'm going to be in this next game now that would be my assumption based on this how would you rate your season so far honestly i think i'm playing pretty good i'm giving myself the star you've had you've also had some bad starts oh yeah thanks captain obvious and now i need to maintain a 935 over th this game man and sure enough here we are against the boston bruins saw that one coming so here we go Let's hope that we have a good performance in this one as well. Try to get that save percentage maintained. I don't have a whole lot of faith, though. Here we go. First period. Nice. Second period. Nice. Yeah. I like that a lot. Like, look at those two objectives. And they clearly overlap. What head coach is going to do that? And do coaches actually do that, do you think? Do coaches come to you and be like, I want a 932 save percentage over the next five games or you're gone. I don't think that happens. I could be wrong. I have not played in the NHL, believe it or not, but yeah, it just doesn't seem like something that really goes down. We are off on the wrong foot here again. Penalty kill to start. 
But, um, you know, we've been doing okay with PK so far. Marchi trying to get fancy. McAvoy rips one. I think I got a piece of that. And another one. Smother it, please. It wasn't letting me smother it. But it didn't go in. Poke check that. Wonderful poke check. And Marchand is still going to come out with it, it looks like. Goes for a pass to Hall. And this is scary. He was able to walk right out. I mean, I could have poke checked there as well, but... Yeah, that's just... I don't know. It was... <laughs> one on O. And he defeated me. Smith gonna rip one, and that will be stopped on the blocker. What are you doing, Barry? Don't do that. Don't spin around <laughs> with the puck on your stick right in front of the net. It's, you know, not a lot to ask for, I don't think. I believe that's a totally reasonable request. Kane is in over the line. Gets it to Jesse. Oh, nice try. McDavid in the corner. Passes it out. And McAvoy will take that. Pass it up to Bergeron now. In the middle to Grizzlick. Why are they trying to get fancy with it? Who do you think you are? Pass. And that will be gloved. You're wide open. Give that to Barry. He's got some time. And he does that. Tyson, what's going on? We need to have a conversation. Why can't I start conversations? Why does Drysidle get to start one with me whenever he wants? But I can't do anything. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, hit the post. Got lucky there. And we have another penalty to kill. Unbelievable. We have a 78.6%. No clue if that's good or not. I honestly never look at that category. Nor do I look at the power play percentage category. That could be really good, could be really bad, could be average. I have no idea. Is he going to pass it? He tried to pass it in the middle. Down the ice it goes. 45 seconds left on this penalty. So we're doing a good job so far. What a pass. Howla streaking across. And he is going to get destroyed. What a check. Great stuff. I love the physicality so far. It's been awesome. Penalty's almost done. And that will do it. That was a very easy kill from... My point of view, because I didn't have to do much of anything. I don't even know if I made a single save. Maybe one. But yeah, it wasn't uh, a very pressure-filled penalty kill. That's for sure. Get the puck in deep. Still 13 minutes to go. We have the one goal lead, thankfully. We had the insurance marker coming into this period, which helps a lot. And DeBrusque, going to rip one just wide of the net there. He gets it again. Oh, I should have smothered that. I should have smothered it when I had the chance. We're taking another penalty? Come on, dude. What is going on? Do they factor that into my stats? Like, oh, hey, we saw you had to kill 80 penalties in the third period alone. No wonder you got scored on. We can't blame you. Your stats are okay. No? Yeah, there's no chance. Absolutely no way on planet Earth I'm saving that. Did you guys even see it go in? Because I didn't. Well, that 930 and 935 save percentage are starting to look a little bit uglier. Bergeron gonna give me a free gift there. I'll pass it out, get the team play, hopefully. Warren Fogel makes a move, and the Oilers are back here. So we now have a tie game because of that. Very unfortunate, but both of their goals in this third period so far were on the power play. So I refuse to take full responsibility there. Like, what is these shots, man? That is an absolute bullet. There's no way I could save that. All right, well, I mean, maybe if I was a higher overall... Well, it didn't go in. It did miss the net, but it also didn't go in. It's not like I made it go wide or anything. It's just, those shots are terrifying. I wonder if... Oh, no. Oh, you better believe I'm going to do it. If he's coming in... Pasta! He just got gabbericked, but he still scored. Oh, man. What a bad third. Like, why? The first game's always so good, and the second one is complete trash. What is this pattern? McDavid? Oh, no way. He just lost handle of it. Kane passes it back to Keith there. Pretty much set him up for failure with that one. But they do end up coming out with it. Some good passing. Kane rips one, ties it up. Thank you. Holy crap. Yeah, it's about time. Now let's just do that one more time. And it's all good. We'll have the one goal lead again. Poyarvi going to win that battle on the boards. Get it to McDavid. He picks it back up. And that was the weakest backhand 
of all time. It has to be. Marchi had it along the boards and got hit. And now it comes to Smith. But the Oilers are going to come in possession of the puck now. Get some passes off. And get it out of the zone. Nuge carrying it in. And he somehow wins that battle. Out of pure luck, I want to say. Keith down low. Yamamoto. Good passing. Not the best shot. But it's a shot on net that could possibly go in. So it is what it is. Boston now. Coming back this way. And Grizzlick with it. Don't let him get that shot off, man. It's going to be blistering through the wind. Okay, Grizzlick again. I'll save that with the blocker. Like, I got to come out and challenge those shots. Otherwise, I feel like I'm screwed. Win that battle. Someone go help him. Someone. Anyone. No. Okay, okay. Thank you, Bouchard. <laughs> you legend. He carried it out. Across to Yamamoto. Who stops up, takes a wrist shot, and Olmark will... Get it and pass it instantly out to McAvoy, who ends up having it now in the neutral zone. Goes for a little deke. Oh, that was scary. I did not see that pass even happen. That was an interesting one, and I am very happy he missed the net. It's crunch time, final minute. Back to the point. No, don't give them another breakaway. Thank you, Pugliarvi. Amazing back check. I appreciate you. And he's going to do that. Don't you dare. Please win that battle. After all this, you brought it back to our own end. You can't just go and give it to them now. And they end up with the puck. Great. I'm smothering that. No, not like this. I save on Pasta, and we end up getting the rebound, thankfully. Back the other way it goes. Get one before the time's up. Prevent us from going to a second straight overtime. At least we won't be... Actually, was... Yeah, we started the last overtime shorthanded, right? So it was a four on three. This time, we don't have that. They have 30 shots and four goals. That 930 and 935, uh-uh. But if I make a few saves here in the overtime and we end up winning it, then maybe. Or if it goes to a shootout, that's also a possibility because that does not count against my stats there. A man can hope. In the middle. Oh, he's just in. Thank you. He missed the net. I believe, I think, the flying Pocek did assist with that. And McAvoy's going to pass it down low to Pasternak. Tries to do a backhand. And that's not going to get through. Come on, don't give them another breakaway. I thought they were going to. Barry with it now. Passes it on the wing. And McDavid, what are you doing? Come on, man. This is their third breakaway this game. What a save. Yeah, right. They won the draw. McAvoy is going to have his shot blocked. And now the Oilers heading back on the attack in over the blue line. Barry with it. Stops up. Gets it to McDavid who makes a pass that really had no potential of going through. And now Boston is in possession. Marshy walking in. Saved. He gets his own rebound. And that is no good. Another save. I'm passing that to you guys because there's no one really around and you do that with it. Come on, guys. Throw me a bone here. And, wait, yes, we have a power play, I think. We do, perfect. And they're gonna get a chance shorthanded. Whoa, that was a scary shot, but saved it on the low blocker side. Four on three, come on guys. Let's get something going here. That was a good start. And Omar will easily save that one. Grab that behind the net, get my team play. Pass that to you, easy peasy. Yeah, the nice basic passes are the ones I should go for. And I forgot to change the camera again. Why are we... Why, why is Cassian out there? What's going on? Okay, change the camera, and I'm going to get beat to the puck anyway, so it doesn't matter. Whatever, Cassian. Prove yourself. You can do this. Passes it to Ryan. Am I missing something? Like, we have other players, no? They are good. Sure. Good hockey players. But... I think we have other hockey players on this team that should maybe be out there right now on a four on three. That's just my two cents on the situation. Nurse rips one. That will be saved. And now Cassian picks it up. Point shot into the mitten. And another penalty, I think. Is it five on three? You guys have to score here. You have to. 17 seconds left. Big draw win. And a one-time attempt won't go through. 
Are you kidding me? McDavid in over the line again. Passes it to Nuge, who doesn't... Oh, man. Really? McDavid? No! No! Kane could have had that. Oh, you're joking. Into a shootout we go. Here comes Pasta. It's gonna work this time. Get out of here. The flying poke check. Absolutely. Let's go. Is it McDavid, I'm assuming? Yes, it is. McDubstep. Trying to do the Forsberg. It almost worked, too. He had him beat. Just did a little bit too late. All right, Marchi. He's coming in. And he is going to destroy me. That's a good goal. I probably should have poke checked there. He got real close. Okay, let's go, Nuge. Let's go, Nuge. Nice goal. Beautiful goal, as a matter of fact. Okay, 1-1. One, one. What do you got, Patrice? What do you got? You got a big old save from TJ. We can win this right here. Leon? Oh, it's Evander Kane, and he does it! He actually does it! Mad lad. What a win for the boys. That's my first NHL win, I think, actually. 35 shots, four goals. It's not great, but you know, I'll take that. What a game. What a great game. Let's let the show continue. Sounds like he's going to cry again. With the overtime victory and the puck stopper who comes up clutch. Absolutely. His first overtime win. Yeah, that's me. That to me mentally. We talk all about the physical Mental. attributes. Okay, let's sim some mentally, games here. 14 7 and 5. Good Pretty good. Absolute elite. And this 15 7 and 5. Down when they needed to most. Mike Shout Smith to on a tear. He deserves it. And he deserves 15 all 7 and 6. Here on social media. Let's open up the phones and hear Conversation you, with you have to say. Strudwick? Was that? What's up? Yo, get your microphones out of my face. We, uh, playing the Kraken. Back oh. the show, and Ray and the I'm not making you a promise. A party that I can't no. wait to get to in a couple of days from now, man. <laughs> yeah, we may change I've action. heard this dialogue like a hundred times. <laughs> hey, I feel like... I was okay, can I skip this? Um, hey, I wanted to ask you a little bit about the Calder please? race right now. As we're can I please the skip this? There we go. What do you want, Pratt? You gonna tell me I failed? Probably did. Or is he going to be like, oh, how are you doing so far? Again. What's up? We need to talk about how you've been playing lately. I, I, okay. My play speaks for itself. I know I haven't been meeting expectations. I, sure. Let's make another promise. Another promise. A max of four goals over the next two games. That's doable. That can be done. We still, look at all the challenges we have. All right, skip that, James. Not interested. So we're currently 10th in the league, 15, 7, and, and 6. Pretty good record. So yeah, guys, we are flying through this season here. It's going quick, but we are the backup goalie, and we're still 71 overall. I mean, we were 71 up 1. Uh, thank you. But yeah, we are not the best overall in the world. Making it work, though. And I'm having a great time with this series so far, actually. I feel like I'm playing a lot better in net. Even though I have had some stinkers, I think it's... Overall, a lot better. So, yeah, I'm happy with how it's turning out so far. Hope you guys are as well. And I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.